All right, folks, today we're going to be fishing with a couple of new hot crawfish lures that I saw at ICAST last year. The first one is a Chase Baits Mud Bug. It comes in a couple different sizes, and some really cool features about this bait are not only does it look extremely realistic, but it moves really good through the water, has that vibrating claw action, and the material they used on the bait is extremely strong. You cannot break it by stretching it out. And then the last really cool feature about this bait is the jig head doubles as crawfish eggs. So even if the bait flipped over, everything looks extremely realistic. Now the next crawfish bait is called a Joint Zari, and this is something I've been wishing that a manufacturer would create forever. This is a crawfish bait that has the hooks in the crawfish pinchers, and it's known that a lot of times bass will peck the crawfish until they knock the pinchers off and then they'll eat them. I've even noticed that with my own pet bass Moby. Hopefully we're going to test all this out in this video and we have both of these new baits in stock at BamaFrogs.com. I'll have links down in the description. Time to go fishing. There he is. Little guy. Well, there we go, we'll take it. First bass on the mud bug. Little female. Yeah. Let's see how this one goes through the grass. There he is. He's a two pounder. But he came in there to pop him a crawfish claw. Let's see if we got him with one pincher or two. It's the one pincher. <laughs> I love it. It's an experiment. Nothing happened on the other pincher. So he came in and popped one of them claws and got caught. Nice. Got him. Watch out for that tree. What size we got here? Three pounder. Three pounder. Three and a half at least. Yep. Crawfish bites on. It's shaking its head. Josh doesn't talk much when he catches. He's definitely not like a Nelly. No, I don't get <laughs> I get nervous. He's nervous. <laughs> Gotta get him in the boat. Got him four, maybe five. We gotta, we gotta do a little bit better about our guessing, don't we? Pull his mouth this way. Choked on it. Killing it on the crawfish bite. You can kind of see the beds that these fish are making. It's early stages of the spawn. And they don't like crawfish this time of year. It's obvious. The only feedback I... Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Bounced the crawfish over a log and he smashed it. That one was sitting there waiting on an opportunity for a crawfish. My buddy always pees at the most inopportune times when the fish are biting. Look at it. He's a, he's a, he's got to be on that cork. You see him? He's knocking him up out of the water. All right. There we go. Here he is. Oh, he's pulling back. Got a wrapped around a limb. Is he still on it though? Oh no! Don't get me in the tree. I'm in the trees out now. Got him. 
big group of trees out there that this one's sitting on. Not a spawner. I don't think I got him hooked really good. We're going to test it. Oh, double up. The crawfish bite is hot. Is yours in the tree? Who's is bigger? Do we got twins? Yours is bigger. Oh, oh yeah. I got you this time. I'll throw mine back in and get on that stool. There he is. Little guy. Let's see if he got one or two pinchers. Oh, he ate the whole crawfish. Two pinchers. Got him. That's a good one. Oh, came out. Let me see that lure. He just swapped over. It's been a while since we've gotten a bite, so he swapped over to the watermelon red crawl. See if I can hang him on. Here he is. Got it swimming it. Got him, big girl. I must have swam that crawl right past her bed. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Pulling drag. Yeah. She ain't worn out yet. Where's she getting there? Got him. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> that right there is awesome. Boom. Crawfish to the face. Man, that's pretty. I just swam it right by that little island right there and she hit it while I was moving it pretty fast. Man, that got me fired up right there. All right. Swim away. Got him. Oh yeah, that's a good one. On the mud bug. Got him. He's got a tree, a bass, and a crawfish all on one hook. <laughs> he can't get him. You want me to hook him and get him in for you? Look at there. That's what I'm talking about. Not only do I love eating crawfish, but bass love eating crawfish. Nice four pounder on the mud bug getting it done so josh just swapped over to the 2.75 inch caught that one probably four or five cast in so they bite the little ones and the big ones Here we go. Got him. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, a fatty. Gotta love the fatties. This one's gonna come to you. Oh yeah. ready nice that's a thick girl in case I hadn't mentioned it to you already mud bugs fully stocked at bamafrogs.com and they catch them oh he's back on the good ones I can see it another solid one we're terrible at guessing so I'm not even gonna guess look at it. it's got a belly on it You want me to lip him? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm waiting on it. He's about to spit it. All right. Got him. Man, that's a long one. She's not as fat as some of the other ones. May have spawned a little. Let's see the side view. Yep, she has spawned a little. It's only February, but she's got some pre-spawn action. Let me see that mouth. Never gets old, does it? Never. <laughs> We're spoiled out here on that crawfish spawn bite. They hate them. Yep. And she's off. That's him right there. Oh, came up and went airborne. Let's go. First fish, top water fish of 2020. Absolute blow up. It was almost a toad dangler. I pulled it off that limb and then he came up airborne. He must have been watching it. All right, I might need your hand there. You ready? Get him. Let's go. <laughs> no better way to end the day than the frog popped right out. Popping frog. Got it done. Airborne style. I'm going to do a replay right now. That's him right there. All right, guys. That is a perfect ending to a day. Getting my first topwater fish of 2020. Make sure you're subscribed because there's a lot more to come. Enjoyed it, homie. All right, folks, you can pick up all the crawfish at BamaFrogs.com. We've got all of them in stock. I'd say today we had most of our luck on the rusty colored mud bug in the 2.75 color. It was pretty cool, though, to get bites on that joint Zari and watch them hit those pinchers first. But final thoughts, it is definitely a bait for the springtime spawn. The bass can't stand them. Hope you all enjoyed this one. See you all next time.